Kevin Willard enters his second season at Maryland following his successful first season that included a second round tourney appearance. He's bringing in a top 20 recruiting class that ranks number four in the Big Ten. There's seven total players coming in, four being freshmen and three transfers. Maryland lost seven total scholarship players, including two starters. However, there's a ton of hype around this class. Willard brings in two top 75 recruits and a player that is getting buzzed as being a leading candidate for Big Ten Freshman of the Year. Sean Harris Smith is one of the best freshmen coming into the Big Ten. He's a 6'5 wing ranked number 26 in the 2023 class. He averaged 17.8 points, 7.2 boards, 6.3 assists, and 2.6 steals a game while being named the Gatorade Player of the Year in Virginia. Harris Smith is an athletic wing that really wants to get downhill. He's super comfortable driving left and the athleticism pops for him. He's going to be constantly attacking closeouts. His first step is really good and he's really comfortable with his dribble getting all the way to the rim. I do hope to see a bit of improvement with the right hand as he rarely got to it in high school. Harris Smith is lethal in the open floor. He has a good combination of speed, strength, and body control that allows him to maneuver through defenses or attack open space. Once he gets in the paint, he's going to get all the way to the rim more often than not, and he generates a ton of paint touches. This scoring ability should translate early on. Harris Smith showed some shooting ability. I couldn't find percentages, but he did seem to favor pull-ups more than just catch and shoot looks. He leans back some on the jumper, which is why I think he preferred the pull-ups. He has shot the ball well at times, but I think it'll take a bit for teams to fully respect, especially with how good he can be attacking closeouts. On defense, Harris Smith isn't the most elite defender, but he has physical tools that allow him to be able to guard multiple positions. I think he'll mainly guard twos and threes, but could potentially guard some bigger ones or smaller fours. Another thing I liked about his game was he was just a solid passer. He's not a primary facilitator, but he can swing the ball to where it needs to be on offense. Harris Smith has a ton of upside on both ends of the ball, which will make him a very fun player to watch this season. Jamie Kaiser is a 6'6 wing ranked number 71 in the 2023 class. He averaged 11.8 points, 4.8 boards, and 1.2 assists a game at IMG. Kaiser is an all-around athlete, having D1 scholarship offers to play QB at one point. Kaiser comes to Maryland with an already college frame. He has potential to be an athletic wing that can do whatever's needed of him. On offense, I think he can become a solid cutter and off-ball player. He doesn't quite have the handle to be a primary, but he moves well without the ball and is very active. He only shot 31% from 3 at IMG, but I fully expect that number to rise. I think he has a compact shot that seems pretty repeatable. At times he does almost hitch a bit, and that's when a lot of the misses come, so he's going to have to get rid of that. On defense, Kaiser is great off ball, making a ton of the correct rotations. He often has good positioning, and I think that makes up for him being a bit upright at times on defense. His on ball defense for the most part is good, although he struggles a bit with quicker guards. I'm bought in on Kaiser being a guy that has very translatable skills to the Big Ten. The shooting should improve, and I think he slots in as being a positive overall defender for Maryland. With a year or two of development, Kaiser could become a very, very good player. Jonathan Lamoth is a 6'4 guard that was ranked number 169 in the 2023 class. He played at St. Francis Academy, and he had a game last season where he hit 16 threes. Lamoth comes to Maryland as a very good shooter, and he's comfortable getting to his jumper from pretty much anywhere on the floor. For a team that struggled a bit shooting, Lamoth has potential to bring a much needed perimeter punch. Lamoth seems like more of a two guard to me, but I was thoroughly impressed with some of his passing. He's a comfortable passer that can hit the pocket pass in pick and rolls or spray it out to the perimeter. Jameer Young's going to play the majority of the point guard minutes, but Lamoth might be able to take a few when Young is on the bench. Lamoth is an elite shooter, but teams right now will sell out on it. He's a solid athlete, but he did struggle converting in the paint and near the rim. He has good strength that should allow him to muscle through some smaller guards if they aggressively close out. Lamoth has good instincts defensively, but he was caught being flat footed a ton. The shooting will be the primary thing that gets Lamoth playing time early on as the jumper is pure, but some of the other things will decide just how good he can become. Braden Pierce is a 7 foot big that was ranked number 292 in the 2023 class. He averaged 13 points and 10 boards a game before taking a postgrad year at IMG. Pierce has only played basketball for three years as he was focused on baseball for more of his life. Pierce brings solid mobility in a 7 foot frame. He'll be a drop big, but there were flashes of him being able to really protect the rim. I don't think the mobility is there to switch or anything, but he should be able to eventually anchor down a defense inside the paint. With him being more fluid, Pierce has potential as someone that can play in both the dunker spot and as a roller. He'll need to put on some strength in the post as he seemed to struggle at times going through defenders. I'm also intrigued of any potential to stretch out to the perimeter. He has decent touch and I think there is some potential for him to eventually step out there. Development, patience, and potential will be the name of the game for Pierce during his freshman season as he's just going to need more reps since he's so new to the game. Jordan Geronimo is a 6'6 forward transferring from Indiana. 
He averaged 4.2 points and 0.9 blocks in only 12.4 minutes a game as a Hoosier. Geronimo is one of the best athletes in the conference, boasting a 40-inch vertical. He brings really good upside defensively as someone who can guard some wings but can also be a secondary rim protector. Geronimo had a block rate of 7.5%, a top 50 rate in the country. A lot of these came off of rotating as being the low man on defense. Geronimo has the athleticism to quickly get up and contest anything near the rim. On offense, Geronimo is best used as a cutter. He isn't comfortable really self-creating, but he can be a guy that plays in the dunker spot at times or cuts while others are driving. He's a really good finisher at the rim in part because he could rise above most. He isn't really a perimeter threat as he only shot 26% from three last year. I'm interested to see what Maryland does with him. Geronimo seemed best as a four at Indiana, but he may have to play more of the three next to Scott and Reese. Geronimo fits in super well defensively though, as he'll be an athletic wing that can cause problems with that Maryland zone. Matty Traore is a 6'11 forward transferring from New Mexico State. He only appeared in seven games, playing 7.3 minutes a game in them. Traore comes to Maryland as a sophomore that may be a bit of a project, but has a ton of upside. He was a three-star recruit coming out of high school. Traore has a 7'3 wingspan and he moves really well on the floor. He at times has shown a comfort putting the ball on the floor against other bigs, and if he gets any minutes at the five, he should be quicker than all of them. Traore is more of a forward than a true center as he wants to step out on the perimeter and use his body to drive from there. He'll need to continue to develop both that and some of his ball control to really become effective. His frame and movement give him a ton of upside defensively as someone that can roam the paint. I'm not sure how much he'll contribute this season, but I do like Traore going to Maryland as a big that can continue to develop. Chance Stevens is a 6'3 guard transferring from Loyola Marymount. He averaged 6.0 points a game while shooting 37.4% from three. Unfortunately, Stevens suffered a knee injury recently and is expected to be out for the season. He'll be a great fit when he is healthy as a flamethrower from three. Almost all of his shots were from beyond the arc and he was comfortable shooting from legitimately anywhere out there. He could play off ball or get to his pull up. He averaged 4.7 threes attempted per game in only 17.3 minutes a game. I wish him a healthy and speedy recovery as he works back to be with the team. Willard brings in a bunch of athletic guys that can do different things. He adjusted the shooting a little bit with a few of his pickups, but he got guys that should mainly fit into his defensive system of really dragging out opponent possessions. Features a near five-star recruit in Harris Smith that'll be super exciting to watch this season and be a potential freshman of the year candidate. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe and click here for even more team and player breakdowns.